gentlemen. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! said Larry on the bungle fight thanking you they call me the problem but you could call me the can man because anybody can get Africans Americans Dominicans Mexicans anybody can get it when it comes to Shakur versus um Devin Haney who you favor in the future oh uh, man Shakur man it's like man I like Devin Haney man but man but it's like man I love Shakur man <laughs> right, right, right. I, 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 I like ain't even going to lie to you. I like them both. Yeah, I like the them reason, both. the reason why I'm so impressed by Shakur because because of Devin Haney. You know, I remember when I didn't know Shakur. Uh -huh. You know, I got introduced right when they to Shakur. Spark. Yeah, I I got introduced to Shakur due to Devin Haney. I always kept up with Devin Haney, and he pretty much be beating up everybody. And then you know when D Dante. Um, he hit me up. He was like, man, I just saw this talented kid and he was telling me about him and I was like, well, you know, you got a sparring and he obviously posted the footage. It's up. And when I watched Shakur, man, I was highly impressed. He made, you know, Devin Haney kind of look bad. And, and when I saw that and me knowing how talented Devin Haney and the fact that Devin Haney was the bigger guy naturally, reach height-wise and weight-wise and Shakur mm -hmm. was just like so calm and Obviously, he was a man. year and a half older, but still, man, I was like, oh, man, he, yeah. You, I, I saw, I saw, like, I saw greatness. Hit. Yeah, I saw greatness in the kid. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And, and it's like, man, he got the right idea, man. Don't get hit as long as you feel like don't get hit, man. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's crazy. And they, they man, both don't like, get hit. If I'm being honest, you right, know, they, right, you know, they both right, really, right. you know, they they right. they're sweet with their defense, but I feel like Shakur is a little bit more sharper. You know, just he, just a tad bit. He got that edge. I feel like, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, man, man, and he got that mentality. Right. And it's like, I ain't gonna, I'm, a, uh, I'm not talking like Devin Haney. Don't. I'm just saying, like, man, that's your core. It's something about him that's just like, man, you get, man. I could just, man, see it, man, and feel it. Like I can feel it. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like when I'm watching this dude. Man, he he don't even want to be compared to Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was like, no, he said, be yourself. I'm he said, me. I, yeah, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the next record. So <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. I mean, you, you know, gotta love that. if you want to break somebody's record, if you want to surpass somebody, you got to feel like that. That's all I'm saying. Uh -huh, I'm pretty sure he uh -huh. looked up to Mayweather. I'm pretty sure Mayweather is one of his favorite fighters, as he said on the on more than one occasion. But still, the fact that he just said, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm the next record. That's when I was like, man, I, I really took notice for real, for real. The confidence <laughs> in this kid is on a whole nother scale. I appreciate you, Aki. Any last thoughts? Any last comments? You know, you know, just lay it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Look, man, shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation, man. I appreciate you having right. me on the show. And you said Haney? Is that what you said? I, I, that's why I would like to, I would let a kid fight because I feel like he got the best of Haney in that first fight. I cannot lie. From, in, in the spars, I mean, in the spars, I feel like he got the best of them. Yeah, and I, I pretty much agree with you, but I just think that's a future down the line fight because they just, you know, Shakur just moved up to 130 and, and Devin Haney should be on his way out. Um, oh, yeah, not 135. For sure, for sure. So it's a fight that could happen down the line. Um, Shakur, when he got asked, who you think is going to be your rival that's going to basically define your, your career, a win over him is going to define your career, kind of like Mayweather versus Pacquiao, kind of like Ali versus Frazier. And Shakur responded... I think it's going to be Javante Tang Davis. That's what Shakur responded with. Then when when Champside reminded him uh, of, you know, Devin Haney, he said, oh, yeah, Devin Haney too, but that's a fight down the line because, you know, he's going to be moving up 
in divisions when I'm moving yeah. up. So it's kind of like I won't bigger. catch him till yeah. the end because he's the naturally bigger than Shakur, of course. So, you know, both fights pretty much going to define Shakur uh, as, you know, how great he's going to be. Uh, Shakur definitely has the names because one thing about Andre Ward, once he beat Froch and, you know, Kovalev and them, like he really didn't have the names and the names didn't want to fight him like Gennady Golovkin. They, they stayed hidden so he could never crack that mega star level like Mayweather did because he never had the names. Mayweather had the names and he had the talent and the dedication factor. Um, on the other hand, Shakur, I feel like he have the dedication, he have the um, skill, and he also have the names. He got Lomachenko where he said Lomachenko too. He said that's the fight I really want because he's so mm -hmm. hyped up. Once I beat him, I'm pretty much pound for pound number one, right? So you got you got Lomachenko, you got you got Javante, you got Gary Russell, you got Devin Haney, you got Ryan Garcia, and keep in mind. Shakur beat Ryan in the amateurs. Shakur already sparred Javante. Mm -hmm. Shakur sparred Devin Haney. Shakur sparred Terrence Crawford. Man, this man, like I said, he made for this. He made for great. Hey, man. Hey, all these young brothers, I, I really respect all these young brothers coming in the game and really being willing to fight anyone. I, I like Devin Haney as well. Don't get me wrong. You know? I just like Shakur a little better, but I like all these young brothers coming in the game, dominating, and they calling out the best. And, and these old, you know what I'm saying, old media are just allowing these dudes to duck these young fighters who are ready, they're ready for the big time. It's always a thing. You know what I'm saying? Canelo, uh, Lomachenko, these guys are ducking. And these young fighters are all the smoke, and I just really respect all these young fighters, especially Shakur. Right, right. Me too. That's how I feel. You know, it's never personal. See, a lot of fighters, you know, I, I just want to make it clear, like, I, it's never personal for me. I, I just call a spade a spade. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so, exactly. I, you know, I don't want nobody to catch no feelings like, oh, you, you feel like this guy better than me, that guy better than me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I call it how I see it. If if I feel like something, if I I stand by what I believe, you know what I mean? And I, I stand by what I say and I believe what I say. So um, other than that, you know, I pretty much support all the fighters. I pretty much, that's what I do for a living. I support all these fighters because, you know, that's what... Uh, of course, that's what I love to do is talk about boxing. And on the other hand, you know, that's what they do for yeah. a living is, is fight and entertain us in, in return. So that being said, it's never personal for me. I just call a spade a spade. Like, I just appreciate you for shedding the light, you know, uh, a, a good light on boxing, especially you just call a spade a spade. Tyson Fury definitely cheated. You got to be blind not to believe that, you know, I'm, I'm tired of this hopefully. And I feel like, you know, people like new media really need to continue to put a light on the wrong wrongs that are happening in boxing. Like, we got to be honest. You know, how is Floyd Mayweather not regarded higher? Like, if, it, if Floyd Mayweather, I believe, he was a different race, he would be, you know, hands down, pound for pound, you know, greatest of all time. Like, he was a different race besides what he is. I just I just appreciate you for shedding light on things like that and continue to do you out there. I appreciate you all day, and you already know what time it is. You know, they could hate me for telling the truth, but I'd rather be – uh, hated for telling the truth than be loved for telling a lie. Hey, if, uh, Mr. H. Money, Mr. Zone, you know what I'm saying? I do believe in Devin Haney. I do believe Mr. Haney's great. You know, I got to see him in the chat saying Haney's, you know, uh, uh, number one. <laughs> I believe it's a toss up between him and Shakur. You know what I'm saying? For real, I do believe I really do mess with Haney, and I believe he has great skills. I like. I think he is the next Floyd Mayweather. But if anyone will give him trouble in the future, I know they won't fight anytime soon. They will probably. You know, so they probably be Shakur who could give him that type of issue. So you believe yeah, you believe time. Shakur gonna surpass Mayweather? Man, the Shakur just look great, you know. And I just, I just, I just, I just mess with Southpaws. I can't lie, I just feel like you know they got slight advantage if, if used correctly. So I, I just, right. I just like that his defense is so slick. And then when I saw them spar, you know, the things he was able to do, it was just it was versus Haney, Haney, no, Haney make everyone look crazy, and he just right. held his own more than his own versus Haney. So and, and Shakur made him look crazy. Really, yeah, and she, I, I see what you're saying because Shakur made him look crazy. Yeah, man. Well, but I do believe in Haney though. Haney is definitely a dog. Don't don't get none of that twisted. Haney definitely got it like that. Right, right, right. I'm, I'm about to I'm about to pick up his car right now because he he called me on more than one occasion. So uh, hey, hey, you know, it's, great it's, talking okay, to you. Gusto. Okay, that's so salute to you, Aki. 100, 100. Appreciate it all day, man. Call again, all right? Appreciate you. Uh, how you doing, Aki? Who this is and where you calling from? What's going on, Aki? This is Gerald Morgan calling from Honolulu, Hawaii, my brother. Hawaii, I got you. I got you. What's going on, fam? How you doing? Talk to me. How we feeling tonight? 
Oh, man, we're feeling blessed, man, feeling blessed. I just wanted to say thank you, brother, and watching your channel. I'm not much of a social media guy, but I definitely support your channel, man. I appreciate the love, man, for real, for real. Let me go ahead and, and, and lay down the next topic. Okay, for the Shakur, man, he's a very, very talented young brother, man. I see a little bit of, uh, I see a little bit of calmness like Floyd Mayweather, and I also see that execution from like Andre Ward, you know. Right. Very patient with his uh, selective uh, style of punches, and his footwork is amazing too. I mean, the kid's only twenty years old, correct? Right, right. Yeah, he he he's two, yeah. twenty. No, I think he's twenty two or twenty one. Twenty two, man. I mean, I, I he definitely has. Is a, uh, a real, real bright future in the sport of boxing. Um, definitely does. I think, in my honest opinion, um, I hear a lot of people saying Ryan Garcia. No disrespect to Ryan Garcia, but I don't think he would want those problems with uh, Shakur Stevenson, in my humble opinion. And, you know, Shakur yeah. did beat him in the amateurs. And according to Shakur, he, he did, did it with ease. For sure, for sure, man. It was a great night of boxing. Um, shout out to Shakur Stevenson. He had a spectacular performance. Um, he showed us that he is a great uh, boxer puncher, and he showed us, man, that he can adjust to anything. As we've seen that Felix Caraballo, he, he started off the fight putting pressure on Shakur Stevenson, and he had him on a rope. And Shakur Stevenson made his adjustments immediately. You know what I mean? And he outboxed him, and um, he was able to land combinations, punches and bunches, and he showed us great, great ring IQ, great footwork. You know what I'm saying? And great body punching as well, my brother. Like, he was hitting him with some mean combinations to the head and to the face. But he realized that he wasn't going to knock him out like that. So he made his adjustments, and he started hitting him with those wicked body shots. And he was able to get the stoppage. And I felt like it was one of the best performances I've seen in quite some time. You know, um, man, he had a great performance, my brother. And I'm, I'm starting to see... Exactly what you see in Shakur Stevenson. You know, you kind of like, you put me up on him. It was a couple of my guys that told me about him, and uh, you said it as well. But I'm starting to see exactly what you see. Um, I have Shakur Stevenson being one of the future pound-for-pound -pound kings in boxing. Of course, me, I have Devin Haney number one in the future of the sport of boxing, and Shakur Stevenson will be number two. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with being number two. And uh, my brother is like, Devin Haney's at a 35 pounds. Shakur Stevenson, I mean, he just, this was his first fight at 130. So it, we all fight. know that. Yeah, they're not going to fight anytime soon. Yeah, they're, That's they're 10, never going to fight. Yeah, 10 years down the line. If, if, if I hope they do, man. <laughs> Don't say they will never because well, I hope I mean, they do. <laughs> but um, well, you, how, how impressed big, were you? How, how good, impressed like, were you? A plus performance, my brother. It was an A plus. Oh, a plus from a, a scale from one to ten. You know, from a one to ten scale, it was a ten. You know, an A plus performance by Shakur Stevenson. I mean, Felix Caraballo only landed nine punches in six rounds. So this guy man, showed us great defense, my brother, and great body punching, great ring generalship. He showed us why he's an Olympic silver medalist, and um. It was one of the best performances I've seen in a very, very long time. Um, he reminds me of a young Pernell Whitaker. And we all know Pernell Whitaker is one of the greatest fighters that ever lived. An right. Olympic gold medalist who, you know, uh, Pernell Whitaker, who um, beat some of the best fighters in the sport of boxing, including uh, Jose Luis Ramirez, who had over 100 wins. Pernell Whitaker, he uh, fought against Julio Cesar Chavez, and I feel like he won that fight even against Oscar De La Hoya. You know what I mean? Pernell Whitaker was a southpaw, just like just like Shakur Stevenson is a southpaw. Pernell Whitaker was 5'6". Shakur Stevenson is 5'8". Pernell Whitaker had a 69-inch reach, and Shakur Stevenson has a 68-inch reach. So they're damn near identical. You know, great boxers. You know what I mean? And great skills for uh, Shakur Stevenson. And I feel like Pernell Whitaker, brother, is one of the greatest fighters that ever lived, considered to be the greatest lightweight. So um, just to talk about Shakur and Devin Haney real quick, um, you know, Shakur is at 130 pounds. This was his first fight at 130, while Devin Haney is only going to have two more fights at 135. So Devin Haney is going to be moving up to 140, while Shakur is going to be at 130. So it's like, um, just to be realistic, I know people like to live in fantasy world, you know what I mean? But it's not realistic that they're going to fight anytime soon, like you said. 
because Devin is going to be going up to 140, then 147. So we, we want to talk about realistic fights for Shakur Stevenson. I think a great fight will be possibly Miguel Burchett. Burchett is a great fighter from Mexico. I think that's a great fight at 130 pounds. Also, another great fight for him will be Oscar Valdez. A lot of rumors that Oscar Valdez vacated a world title to avoid Shakur Stevenson. And also, Gary Russell Jr., I think, is a good fight for him, my brother. What do you think? Yeah, uh, all the names that you named, I want to see Shakur fight all of them. He already put the 130-pound division on notice. He said, I want to fight everybody. He said, I don't care you my friend. I don't care if I know you. It's pretty much business. I just want straps. That's all I know. I want, uh, you know, he, he wants to be great, so he wants all the smoke. Last thing you want to say? Okay, for sure, my brother, man. Shout out to Shakur Stevenson. What a great performance. He, he was flawless. You know, he looks spectacular. You know what I mean? Shakur Stevenson, I got him as the number two pound-for-pound pound king in the future. Devin Haney is number one. Devin Haney is the next Floyd Mayweather. Shakur Stevenson is the next Pernell Whitaker. And we all know Floyd Mayweather was the greatest fighter of all time, a 21-time world champion, undefeated 50-0, who beat them all. From Canelo Alvarez, Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, Diego Corrales, you know what I'm saying? Zab Judah, Arturo Gotti, Oscar De La Hoya, everybody just beat him down. Floyd Mayweather. Who is Floyd Mayweather training? Devin Haney. Who, who's been a part of the money team since he was eight years old? Devin Haney. Who has their own promo Who is their own promoter? Who got their own fighters like Floyd Mayweather? Devin Haney. DHB, Devin Haney Promotions. Shakur Stevenson, I love you. You're a great fighter. You know what I mean? And so is Devin Haney. You know, people always want to put these guys against each other. Sure, Devin Haney and Shakur had a beef with each other before. They went back and forth. You know, Devin Haney was willing to fight, but it's over. They're friends. They're not in the same weight class. You know what I mean? So let's stop turning fighters against each other. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if Shakur Stevenson wanted, he can get it. You know what I mean? If he wants to fight Devin Haney, we're willing to fight. If Devin Haney wants to fight Lomachenko, the best fighter in the world. He wants to fight all these guys. Shakur Stevenson... He, you still got to get through fighters like Miguel Burchett from Mexico, who was the pressure fighter. We want to see Shakur Stevenson versus Burchett. And my brother, in that sparring session, you know that famous sparring session between Devin Haney and uh, Shakur Stevenson, I had Devin Haney winning that sparring session two, two rounds to one. It was a close fight. It was good. It was great work. But Devin Haney landed some bigger shots, and he had Shakur Stevenson on his bicycle. You know what I mean? So Devin Haney is the multi-millionaire. He got the big deal from the zone. You know what I mean? And one thing about it, you know, uh, Shakur Stevenson is with Bob Arum. And we all know Floyd Mayweather left Bob Arum. So if Shakur wants to be the next Floyd Mayweather, you have to leave Bob Arum. Because we see <laughs> Bob Arum holding back black fighters for years. Hold him. He never gave Terrence Crawford that Pacquiao fight. He never gave Terrence Crawford the Mikey Garcia fight. You know what I mean? So to, he, he got to look at the big picture, my brother. Is Bob Arum the right guy? No, I mean, for right for right now he's doing good with him. But in the long uh, in the long run, Floyd Mayweather left Bob Arum, my brother. So shout out to Shakur Stevenson. He had a great performance. This is his night, my brother. And thank you for telling me about him. Because once you told me about him, my brother, I really start looking into it. And he is a great fighter, like you said. Him and Devin Haney are two kings. They're the two kings of boxing in the future, my brother. You can't go wrong with either either or. It's like apples and oranges. You know what I mean? It's like apples and oranges, my brother. And Devin Haney, like I said, he, he likes Kobe Bryant. And Floyd Mayweather is like Michael Jordan. Devin Haney, he skipped, he skipped college. You know, he went from high school to the pros <laughs> at 16. He turned professional at 16, fighting grown men. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, I no, he did. He did what he was supposed to do, my brother. And I appreciate it. You know, and shout out to ITTV. You know what I mean? Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. It's H Money, Mister the Zone. We out of here. Appreciate it. I keep salam alaikum. All right, I appreciate it, H Money. Darn it, H Money. You done made the night about Devin Haney, man. <laughs> but um, of course he ride with a dial for Devin Haney. Uh, Devin Haney is the future too. But um, I I think otherwise. I think Shakur had um Devin Haney um beat in sparring and i believe he controlled devin haney he liked the ocean you jump in the ocean he keep you in control you know what i'm saying so um uh, ain't nothing wrong with that Sh Shakur was actually the um 
I believe a year and a half older, but at the same time, let's not kid mm-hmm. ourselves. Devin Haney was way bigger, had way more reach and height. So um that being said, <clears throat> Shakur and Devin Haney going to fight down the line somewhere. And we 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 will eventually see who the best. Yes, I'm a boxing myself. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, go ahead, Aki. Talk to me. All right. So I hear you. You talk positive about both boxing. That's great. But after all, in the future, who do you, who do you think who do you think will, will be the next Wade Mayweather? Shakur. Or surpass his I, record. I think, I mean, it's going to be tough to surpass Mayweather because the execution was just on a whole nother scale. I mean, the the moon and the sun have to collide to have a career like Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't just be 50 and 0, you know, fighting 23 world champions and fighting double standards as well and prevailing through all of that. So I believe Shakur would be the one because um, out of the two, like, you know, Shakur, Devin, you know, I feel like he's sharper offensively. Uh, he his his punch is more crispy. He's faster, you know, we at least sharper, which translate to speed. Um, I also believe this the fact that he is softball makes him more dangerous. I also believe he has the better defense, you know, and and more so the better footwork as well. I think he got better timing, and pretty much he's just a little bit better than Devin Haney when it comes to all of the above. That and I just think Shakur is just the closest thing to. Um, Mayweather, when I say the closest thing to a Mayweather, I mean the closest thing to becoming the next great. So if I believe somebody could surpass Mayweather, it's going to be Shakur. All right, cool. Because I've been wondering that, wondering that for a long time. You like both. So I wanted to know, like, like actually know who was who you thought. But, yeah, who, um, who you believe. Who, who you believe is going to surpass who? Because like I said, ain't, ain't no telling. Only time will tell. I, I, I always love to make predictions. You know, I, I predicted that Terrence Crawford, when I first laid my eyes on him, that he's going to be a uh, pound for pound, top three, top one. Um, I, I predicted, you know, that Mayweather was pretty much going to retire undefeated. I predicted a lot of things. So, you know, tell me what you believe on, you know, who you believe is going to surpass Mayweather out of the two, or even come as close, you know, because surpassing Mayweather sound like a whole lot. Let's say the closest thing to a Mayweather, you know, as far as, you know, becoming 50 or no or retiring undefeated. Who is the guy for you? Well, to be honest, I want to go with Haney because I first, kind of like you, I first found out about Haney through that Shakur sparring video. I thought Shakur was like the, like the top guy. He was better. Than Haney, um, anyway, because um, other way to sparring work, but I'm gonna have to say, what we'll change your mind? I'll just wait, I'll just wait, I'll just wait on that because I want to see them fight top level guys and see them go do like, like get get tested first and right. see how their careers go in the next, I say, about five years. Because I want to say Haney, but I don't want to do that because I want to see the improvements from both. But I think I think that this is this is what I think. Shakur Stevenson is a pretty like the version of Pretty Boy Floyd, right? Because he, he just like Mayweather was, he was hard to hit, barely anyone threw that much um, shots on him. And I think he's like the pretty Pretty Boy Floyd. Now Devin Haney, I believe that he's like Money May, and um, Floyd Mayweather, I think. And he's teaching him like the secrets of money make not look as much as Pretty Boy Floyd. But you said Pretty Boy Floyd and Money Mike. Disagree with that. Just Money Mike, Shakur, Pretty Boy Floyd. That's what I think. And if they eventually fight in the future, I don't think they'll fight the same the way they are fighting now. I don't think Shakur will be that active. I think the only way I see Devin Haney losing that fight is if he tries to bang banging out with Shakur. The only way I, I feel like he can win is if he moves his movement, his jab. I don't know how Shakur defense will be by then, but now I see why people got Shakur. Yeah. That's I, that's understandable. Right, right. And and like you said, you know, I believe in order to beat Shakur, if you are Devin Haney, you're gonna have to box and, and not go forward because you will fall to the trap. And and because Shakur is just gonna set you up. 
like he did for in sparring uh, when Devin Haney was trying to come forward. But one thing I would say, you know, boxing Shakur is very frustrating because, like you said, the the jab could be very effective. Devin Haney have a great jab, but um, I, I believe his last fight before this, uh, his opponent landed four percent when it comes to his jab. So ninety percent, ninety six percent of his jabs he missed. <laughs> I mean, that's a crazy rate right there. I mean, that's. That's um, discouraging, to say the least, when you jab somebody and you miss 90, 96% of your jabs, which is the easiest punch to land, you know. Um, so I feel like Shakur is going to improve that much more because he's sparring Terrence Crawford at an early age. Um, he, he sparred Lomachenko. He sparred Devin Haney, got the best of him. He sparred um, or fought Ryan Garcia, beat him. Um, so the sky's the limit for Shakur. Uh, even Errol Spence posted a, a, a fan saying uh, if Errol Spence is not the best out of this era or this generation, Shakur will be. So with that being said, you know, they both have the potential. We will never know. Time will tell for sure. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't. And listen to these decaf slash old media. These decavs, the dumb, casual ass fans that are always living up to their name because they will talk all that in the comment section like the keyboard warriors they are. But they don't have the cojones to call in and debate Aki. Aki is about to make history and be 500 and 0 and beat Floyd Mayweather record when it comes to debating. And none of the decavs or these experts or the decavs wizards want to call in and, and and you know prove aki wrong and put a blemish on aki record they want zero confrontation with the truth what's understood don't have to be explained because when the truth is spoken the other side is nothing but a lie so these decavs rather yes, tell me why you they rather hate instead tell me why you obviously what they pretty much doing is making me more money. So all I'm saying is anybody can get it. Y'all know what the motto is can, since AB retired. Aki in the Africans, game. Americans, he want all the smoke. Mexicans, anybody can so get it. all the decaf that don't know ish about boxing. About boxing. I got you son better to not duck me, son. Don't you duck me, son. better not duck me, son. Y'all are no show. I'm tired of y'all making all these excuses. Y'all have a whole book of excuses. I keep have the book of the truth. Meanwhile, y'all got the book of the excuses. Grow the cojones and call in. Quit eating that contaminated meat that doesn't allow your cojones to grow. What more need to be said so I can force y'all to call in? <laughs> what do I need to do? Tell your favorite decaf. Tell all these channels that disagree with Aki to go to Cajones and call in and quit using my name in vain for clout. Just call in. Expose Aki on his own platform. I challenge you. But we pretty much know what time it is. What's understood don't got to be explained. They don't want no confrontation. But there's Damn, only I'm one thing good. left I'm to say. Witness. There's only one God. Allah and Muhammad is his final messenger. So with that being said, I'm going to leave y'all with this. I appreciate all my Aki that's tuning in with me. And go ahead, take y'all out.